Greetings, esteemed viewers, and welcome to another episode of our channel. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Today, we'll be addressing the unfounded claims surrounding Harry and Meghan's marriage. We'll debunk baseless assertions and shed light on the unwavering bond that remains steadfast despite relentless attacks and scrutiny. Now let's delve into the heart of the matter. Prepare yourselves for an enlightening discussion. A host of claims have been swirling around the marriage of Harry and Meghan, some of which are quite far-fetched. The rumour mill has been working overtime, churning out speculations and theories, each more dramatic and sensational than the last. It appears that certain individuals are intent on creating a narrative of discord and unrest, despite the glaring absence of any solid evidence. Notably, Angela Levin and Dan Wooten are two such individuals who have been vocal with their assertions. Levin, a royal biographer, has made claims suggesting that Harry is unhappy in his marriage, painting a picture of regret and longing for his previous life. She has also suggested that he feels trapped and controlled, with his wife Meghan dictating his actions and decisions. Dan Wooten, on the other hand, a tabloid journalist, has made assertions that Harry and Meghan's marriage is on the brink of collapse. He insists that their move to the United States and subsequent stepping back from royal duties are indicative of underlying marital issues. He has also made predictions about an impending divorce without offering any substantial proof or reasoning to back up these allegations. These claims have been met with widespread attention and have added fuel to the ongoing discussion about the couple's life post Megxit. However, it is crucial to remember that these are mere conjectures based on personal opinions and biases, rather than any concrete facts or reliable sources. It is also worth noting that these claims often serve to perpetuate a narrative that aligns with the individual's own agendas or interests, rather than portraying an objective and accurate representation of Harry and Meghan's relationship. The reality of the situation, as evidenced by the couple's own actions and statements, paints a very different picture one of unity, resilience, and a shared commitment to their chosen path. These claims, although sensational, lack substantial evidence. Let's proceed to unpack them. To begin with, let's address the first claim. The claim in question posits that Harry and Meghan's marriage is on the brink of collapse, a notion that is as unfounded as it is sensational. This claim seems to stem from an inability or perhaps an unwillingness to understand the unique dynamics at play in their relationship. The couple's decision to step back from their royal duties and carve out a new life for themselves in the United States was a bold and unprecedented move. It was not, as some would have you believe, a sign of marital discord. On the contrary, this move signifies a united front, a couple making decisions together for the well-being of their family. Their joint ventures, including their production company and charitable foundation, further underscore their commitment to each other and their shared goals. These ventures are not the actions of a couple on the verge of separation, but rather, they are the actions of a couple working in harmony towards a shared vision. Moreover, their public appearances together, whether it's at charity events or in interviews, always showcase a couple that is deeply in love and profoundly respectful of one another. Their body language, their mutual respect, and their evident affection all point to a strong and healthy relationship. The claim also ignores the couple's resilience in the face of adversity. Harry and Meghan have faced a barrage of negative press and public scrutiny, yet they have remained steadfast in their commitment to each other and their shared beliefs. This resilience speaks volumes about the strength of their bond. So why does this claim persist? It seems to be rooted more in bias and a desire for scandal than in any observable reality. It's a product of a narrative that seeks to undermine their relationship rather than understand it. As you can see, this claim does not stand up to scrutiny. Now on to the next one. Moving on, we have the second claim. This one delves into the realm of pure speculation, suggesting that Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties is a sign of marital discord. This claim is a clear representation of the unfounded conjecture that has plagued the couple since they first announced their decision. Let's dissect this claim logically. Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties was a joint one, made after lengthy deliberation and discussion. It was a decision made out of necessity for the sake of their mental health and the well-being of their family. 
The couple has been open about the immense pressure they faced within the royal system and their decision to step back was a brave and necessary move to protect their family and their sanity. Moreover, their decision to step back has actually proven to be a testament to the strength of their marriage. They have faced this tumultuous period together, supporting each other through the trials and tribulations that have come their way. Their united front in the face of adversity has only further solidified their bond, dispelling any notions of discord or division. Furthermore, their shared commitment to their charitable endeavours, their shared values, and their shared vision for their family's future all point towards a strong and enduring partnership. Their mutual respect and love for each other are palpable, and it is clear that they are in this journey together, for better or for worse. So this claim that their decision to step back from royal duties is a sign of marital discord is not only unfounded, but also a gross misinterpretation of the facts. It is yet another attempt to undermine their relationship and cast a shadow over their love story. Again, this claim falls flat when examined closely. Let's tackle the final claim. Finally, let's address the last claim. The third and final assertion we're debunking today is the often repeated insinuation that Harry and Meghan are somehow incompatible due to their differing backgrounds and life experiences. This claim is not only baseless but also demonstrates a complete misunderstanding of the concept of compatibility. You see, compatibility is not about having identical upbringings or experiences. It's about sharing core values, ambitions and a mutual respect for each other. And Harry and Meghan have consistently demonstrated that they share these in abundance. Their joint endeavours, whether it's their shared philanthropic efforts or their united front in navigating the intense media scrutiny, are proof of their compatibility. Moreover, the idea that their differing backgrounds could somehow lead to their downfall is a gross oversimplification. It ignores the fact that they both have been under the public eye, albeit in different ways, and have had to grapple with unique pressures and expectations. These shared experiences, far from driving them apart, have only strengthened their bond. In addition, let's not forget that Meghan, despite not being born into royalty, has shown an admirable level of grace and resilience in the face of unprecedented scrutiny and criticism. This resilience is a clear indicator of her commitment to Harry and their shared life together. Finally, the claim completely disregards the personal growth that both Harry and Meghan have undergone since they've been together. Their ability to adapt, learn and grow together is a testament to the strength of their relationship. Therefore, the assertion that Harry and Meghan are incompatible is not only unfounded, but also a gross misinterpretation of the very concept of compatibility. And there you have it. Each claim, when scrutinised, fails to hold any water. Scene script. In conclusion, the rumours surrounding Harry and Meghan's marriage are just that. Rumours. We've taken a deep dive into the unfounded claims made by the likes of Angela Levin and Dan Wooten, and found them to be lacking any substantive evidence. These individuals seem to have let their personal biases guide their narrative, resulting in a gross misrepresentation of the truth. We explored the reality of Harry and Meghan's relationship, focusing on their unwavering support for one another, their shared values, and their determination to chart their own course. The strength of their bond, even in the face of relentless scrutiny and criticism, is a testament to the strength of their marriage. The notion that Harry and Meghan are on the brink of divorce is not just ludicrous, but also a blatant dismissal of the clear affection and respect that they hold for each other. It's high time we recognise these claims for what they truly are. Sensationalist conjecture aimed at creating discord and doubt where none exist. It's important that we focus on the facts and not let ourselves be swayed by baseless rumours. Harry and Meghan's commitment to each other is evident and undeniable and any claims to the contrary are simply unfounded. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Remember to subscribe, like and share our content. Until next time, take care.